episode of Haven Village Live. Um, as you can tell, um, this episode is a bit late, and that's because um, earlier today, Jarrison, my co-host, had unexpected um, medical, um, I'm not sure what to call it. He, It's not quite an emergency, at least not to my knowledge, but he, is, he does have to get an MRI scan. Um, okay. So first and foremost, um, I'd like to talk about something that I began working on with someone who you may know. He's been on this show quite a few times. His name is Nick Anthony Quatch. Um, he and I um, have created a Facebook page and a Discord server, which um, I don't believe the link has been very publicly released yet. The server still needs um, quite a bit of work. The Facebook page, however, is gaining a bit of traction. Um, See, um, if you're a member of the class of 2020, um, then you did not get to graduate or even really have those last few months of high school where you get to live it up and do what you want. I, I know because I, I, had the, uh, I had my jacket and zip earlier. You can see. Um, I'm sure you believe me. Also, come to think of it. Um, Okay, yeah. But see, what he and I are trying to do is, um, in a sense, I'm not going to try to pick that up. We're trying to, in a sense, give the class of 2020 the graduation that they deserve. Um, this applies to high school students, college students. Um, really anyone who had that sort of finality, that big marking point in their life where they would have gotten a graduation, a huge ceremony, but it just got entirely skipped out on. And at best, they got maybe a Zoom call um, to celebrate on. Um, here, um, and that, that, when I say here, I mean RI4C TV, which you can see uh basically every um basically the main um cast of this show is also on ra4c tv the entirety of it um i mean haven uh i mean all these projects that we're doing we aim at bringing people together that sounds very optimistic but um we'll get into sumo slang at the end of the show i hear a lot of people asking me questions about that what is that um we'll get into it um at the end of the show 
uh, actually a book has been um, finished on talking about that. Um, that's what Vera is, if you didn't know, in quotes. Um, yeah, so back to the point. Um, a girl who actually goes to my school, I, I unfortunately never met her. We never crossed paths. But she attends the, or attended rather, because technically we've graduated. She attended classical high school, as I did. Um, and she gave a speech on RA4C TV, um, the YouTube channel, um, which has been published on the Facebook page that um, I'll show you in a moment. Oh, and by the way, if you want to check it out, it's the first link in the description. Um, yeah, so. She gave a speech. She talked about her high school experience, what she expected it to end like, and the letdown. And that speech is now immortalized in video. Um, as long as that video exists somewhere, those words of how she felt will exist and be able to be heard. And uh, we're extending that opportunity to the entire graduating class of 2020. If you graduated from a school, um, high school or college. Um, I mean, I'd have to talk this over, but you know, I don't see why like a middle schooler who didn't get a graduation in eighth grade can't can't try this. Um, we we are inviting you to come to us. Um, if you look at the description once again, you'll see contact information for me for Jerison. Trust us, we're both very nice people. Um, or you could um, even go to the contact page for Nick. It's not linked. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of regretting not putting that there. But you can contact us. We'll set it up for you. You can come on. Your video will be published on rf 4 ctv and your words of um, graduation. You're basically goodbye to the um, sort of child life um, will be immortalized. Um, yeah, so let me take a look at the page. Excuse me for a moment. Um, I'll show it to all you guys, of course. Um, so here is our cover photo. Um, Rhode Island's class of 20, getting the graduation we deserve and beyond together. Um, we're forming a bit of a community through this. Um, quite a few um, close friends of mine um, have joined this page. Um, quite a few uh, people who I hardly know have join this page. Um, I strongly invite anyone who's watching this who graduated um, or and didn't get a ceremony or knows someone in that situation to um, reach out to this page. Um, hit the link in the description. Um, join this group. Um, or um, contact one of us directly. Either way is perfectly acceptable. And um, yeah. Um, this is the video I mentioned. I'll um, let it, I'll play it for you guys really quick um, so that you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. Since I was a little girl, I've always dreamed about high school. I wanted it to be the epitome of what you see in the movies, of what you read in the books. And I just kept wishing for it over and over again. And when I finally got into high school, it didn't start the way I planned. I was overseas, I wasn't in America, and it was a very interesting journey for me. But when I came to classical high school, it started to become what I always dreamed of. And I was expecting senior year to be perfect. And then the coronavirus came. COVID-19 ruined things for a lot of us. But despite that, I tried my hardest and I worked every day to keep a positive face, to keep my chin up, and to make sure that I could still graduate with all of my friends and my family. And through these last three months, I have been working hard. I've been applying to scholarships, making sure that I'm able to graduate, go to college next year, because that's what's really important to me. I feel like to all those students at Classical, we really work hard every day, every night to make sure that we're able to 
go out into the world and leave our impact. And so despite the fact that I didn't have the most perfect high school experience that I wished, and it didn't end up like High School Musical, and it wasn't like any book I'd ever read, the story itself was mine for mine to tell and something that I could carry with me. It was my own story. And it didn't have to be from a book because I lived it. No one had to write it for me. I'm Olivia Brooklyn Williams from Classical High School and I live in Rhode Island with my mom and my two brothers and I just want to say thank you to my mom especially because despite everything she's been there for me and she pushed me my hardest and I want to say thank you to my brothers for making me such a good sister and such a good person and thank you to everyone at Classical who worked hard to make senior year the best for us. Go class, class of 2020! <laughs>